Once upon a time, there was a boy called Samuel. Samuel lived in a cottage in the wood with his dad, who was a woodcutter. They didn't have much money and all the money that Samuel's dad made from cutting wood, he used to buy food and to send his boy to school. Because Samuel was a very clever boy who really wanted to grow up to be a doctor and he had to pay to go to school. And Samuel loved school and he loved learning. But more than anything, he loved coming home from his day in school and telling his dad all about it. And his dad would tell him about his day in the wood. One day when Samuel came home from school, his dad didn't seem as cheerful as usual. In fact, he looked quite sad. What's wrong, Dad, said Samuel. Samuel, I'm sorry, but I don't have enough money to send you to school anymore. I barely have enough money to give us enough food to eat. So I'm afraid you're going to have to come into the wood to work with me as a woodcutter. And that way we can make more money and have more food to eat. Samuel was very disappointed, but he could see that his dad had been worrying about this for some time. And so he smiled and he said to his dad, that's OK. I love spending time with you and I look forward to us going to work together tomorrow. Both of them went to bed and Samuel cried himself to sleep with disappointment. But the next morning he woke up, he smiled as best he could manage and off he went with his daddy into the middle of the forest. His daddy took out two axes, one for himself and a smaller one for Samuel. Where did you get the second axe? Asked Samuel. Oh, well, I asked our neighbour for a lend, but he said to make sure that we bring it back in one piece at the end of today. Oh, said Samuel, and he watched as his dad started to cut the wood. Samuel imitated his dad. He wasn't quite as strong and he often got distracted by the birds flying past or by the smell of the trees, but he did his best. At lunchtime, Samuel decided to go for a little wander into the middle of the forest. He said bye to his daddy and that he'd see him soon. So when Samuel was in the middle of the forest and really enjoying the surroundings and the smell of the trees and the blue sky above him and the chirping birds, he heard a very strange noise. It seemed to be coming from the ground. And he was sure he could hear a voice saying, let me out, let me out. Samuel wandered over to the biggest tree he could see that had the roots out above the ground. And he could see something shiny in amongst them. He leaned over and he picked up a little bottle. And in the bottle, he saw what looked like a little man. Let me out, let me out, said this little creature, waving his arms. Let me out, let me out. So Samuel, being the kind boy he was, took the cork off the top of the bottle and let the genie out. Now I say it's a genie because it looks like a genie and Samuel had only ever seen pictures of genies in books. And this magical genie appeared with a big puff of blue smoke. Now I will give you your reward, said the genie. Ooh, a reward. I like the sound of that, said Samuel. What is it? I am going to kill you, said the genie. Kill me, said Samuel. That doesn't sound like much of a reward. Well, that's what I was asked to do when I was released from the bottle, said the genie. Hmm. Well, I can give you a challenge first, said Samuel thinking really quickly. Um, just to prove that you really are a genie, I want you to get back into the bottle that you just came out of. Huh, I can do that, said the genie. And he made himself really small again and got back into the bottle. Soon as he was in the bottle, what do you think Samuel did? He picked it up and put the cork back in. Let me out, let me out, said the genie. Don't be silly, said Samuel. I'm not gonna get caught again. Oh, please, please, I was just testing you, said the genie. Please, if you let me out this time, I promise I'll give you a really good reward. Samuel thought about it for a second and then he decided, OK, he was going to let this genie out of the bottle. So he pulled the cork out and out came the genie again in a puff of blue smoke. 
Okay, this time I will give you a reward, said the genie, a good one. I'm going to give you this piece of cloth. On one side it is red, and on the other side it is white. If you rub something with the white side, it can heal anything. It can heal any cut. And if you if you rub something with the red side, it will turn anything silver. Okay, said Samuel, but what do you mean it can heal any cut? Well, look over there at that big tree, said, said the genie. Do you see there's a big crack in the middle of it? If you rub it with that white side of cloth, it's got, it will heal. So Samuel went over and he rubbed the big crack in the bark of the tree. And yes, indeed, it did heal up immediately. No more crack. He couldn't wait to show his dad the other side of the cloth and to test it out. So he said a quick goodbye to the genie. He was already disappearing in another puff of smoke. And off he went to find his dad. Dad, dad, look what I found. I found a magic cloth. Oh, said Samuel's dad, what are you talking about? Look at this, said Samuel. And he picked up the little axe that he had been using and he rubbed it with the red side of the cloth. And sure enough, it turned into silver. And let me show you what the other side does, said Samuel. And he picked up the silver axe and he went to hit the tree to make a crack in it. But of course it was silver. And when he hit the tree with the silver axe, it just bent and didn't make any crack at all. You've broken the axe, said Samuel's dad. What is the neighbor going to say? Let's just gather all of our things. You really haven't been any help to me at all today, Samuel. You're going to have to get better at this kind of work. So off they went home. Samuel had his head down, but he was determined to show his dad that they had in fact had good fortune. So he went into the village and he sold the silver ax for a lot of money. He brought the money home to his dad and told his dad to give money, some of it to the neighbor to replace the cost of the broken ax and to keep the rest for food. His dad, was very impressed and now began to believe his son had indeed found magic. They decided to use the silver cloth just when they needed for food and to send Samuel back to school. And do you know what? Samuel became the most famous doctor in the world because remember the other side of the cloth could heal any wound. And so Samuel used it a lot to make people get better. And he used the silver just when he needed it. And Samuel learned a lot about magic and hard work that day in the world.